what uh, Ernan said that uh, he, he talked with you at halftime. Uh, he said he, he didn't think you had a good first half, but he, he was confident that you would you would come out and, and, and find your way uh, in the second half. Um, is that true? Uh, do you agree with his assessment? Um, and, and how do you think you, uh, you performed early in the second half? I mean, <clears throat> of course, like I, I know I, I didn't have a good first half, you know, but it, it's still... When it's 1-1 as a number nine, you know, you can change the whole momentum of the game by a small moment. And that's my, that was my focus in, in, in the break. He came to me and said, like, you only need one, you only need one. And and he was right. So it was a good, good feeling, of course, uh, to, that he gave me that confidence that he, he believes in me too, you know. We'll go to Jason Anderson. Hi, Ola. Congrats on the goal and the win. Um, looked a little similar to a goal you've scored at Audi Field right after you got here. Um, I wanted to know how this one stacks up for you as far as goals you've scored since you came to DC. Is this one like a, a standout, or, or is there another that's like at top of the top of the table for you? I think uh, first one against Red Bull is a, is a better hit, uh, and maybe the one in Miami is also better finishing. But I, I like that I, it was a quick assessment. I saw the goalkeeper. In the first half, kind of moving a little bit f further to the post because he wanted to to play in possession. So I was thinking, if, if I get one chance and we break uh, somehow and in, in some moment, I have to turn quick and do it. And I'm very happy that I followed my instinct and actually did it. You know, and when I saw the corner or the goal was that side was kind of open, I just it was instinct. So it was a good feeling. You know, it, feeling wise, it's one of the best ones. Because now we're on a positive vibe, you know, it's 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 very, really important in MLS when you got a little bit of momentum that you can really like continue that momentum because it's it's huge in this league. We'll go to Jose Umani. Hey, Olna, first off, congrats on the goal. S secondly, on that, the, the momentum, can you describe a little bit about, or can you explain what about the offense this year is allowing not just you but others to score more opportunities and you guys seem to be well connected and and Hernan talks about how you guys have really really gotten onto the his strategy what is it about this team's and the offensive nature you guys are playing that makes you guys so well gelled together I think of course it's a it's a commitment to the playing style and it's very clear how we're playing and it's also that we always want to get fo go forward in training we're always doing the same same stuff everybody's always looking forward when we win the ball so we're always I think moment or uh, mentally we're always focused on going fast and quick and trying to score goals and I think when you have that mentality I think everybody sees that we want to win we want to score goals and when we have a good moment like we're having now, I think people can see that the, goal, the goals are coming as well, you know? Last question, we'll go to Dennis Gomez. Hey, Ola, congrats on the win and the, the goal tonight. Um, just to ask you, what did it feel to score against your former club this past Wednesday, and what have you done differently to have a successful season uh, this year? Oh, I mean, of course, it was a special feeling play, playing against Columbus, especially in their new stadium. Uh, but of course, see, when you play your old club, you you wanna you wanna show show some quality. So that was a, a good feeling. Uh, always important to get two goals, and now today getting in that another one. I'm now getting up to the double digits. So if you stay on nine for a longer period of time, you know that can get into your head. So it's nice to kind of get that double digit directly. Uh, what was the second question? Um, what have you done differently this year to uh, the past seasons to be to be able to have a, a successful season? I think it's it's it has had a little bit of looking myself in the mirror and put my ego to the side a little bit. I have to work hard. Um, I did the off season. I I didn't go home. I stayed here for four months, just training in the gym, and we're here six seven hours all the time. So I didn't have a real vacation. I need I needed to get in real real shape. And then of course I think the way we're playing now suits my playing style. So it's a, a combination of two things I think. You sometimes you need to oh, de deserve your luck. <laughs>